Hello, Neon Number 8 here, and this is going to be the first of a series of blogs I'd like to call Artist Blogs. And I'm just going to dive right into this one. I'd like to start out by discussing a recent piece of mine that I finished. It's called Saxophone Revolution. What the inspiration for this was, or rather where it started, is that this semester I happened to take a music appreciation course. Originally, the thought and concept behind me having to take this was I have to take it as a requirement for the college I'm going to be transferring to. But, as of now, it's definitely my favorite class. I've been introduced to a huge menagerie of different musical genres and have gotten a really great understanding and a better appreciation of music as a quantitative whole. I'm not going to call myself a music theorist or anything close to that, but I will say this much. I understand it just a little bit better than I did before. While in the class, one of the units we covered was jazz music, and as soon as I started listening to the recordings, I... something clicked on a subliminal level. I absolutely fell in love with it. From Louis Armstrong's great virtuoso approach and treatment of the trumpet and his uh, pioneering in the New Orleans style from New Orleans style to fusion to just the classics and newer styles and everything else in between. It got my brain thinking. It got the gears turning. Around this time, I really needed to come up with an idea and a theme for my next project in painting, which the theme happened to be collage. So I decided, why not choose a specific instrument and create a collage based around that? What I ended up doing was going with the saxophone. I've just been absolutely enamored with the saxophone lately. I've actually kind of entertained ideas of maybe buying one and learning how to play it, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. That's kind of a fairy tale right now. Beyond musings such as those, though, how I started the piece was that I sort of sketched out a tentative set setting and placing for how I wanted the different elements to be set up. And then I just bought a great big canvas, 22 by 28, really, really huge canvas, and started creating a base out of scotch tape. It was kind of amusing to see a whole bunch of people just look at me like, what are you doing with tape? This is painting class. After I had the initial base down, I took a couple of pieces of paper, painted them with different shades of yellow from sort of a beige in between yellow and brown all the way to a more gold sheen, sort of a, what you'd expect when you think of the saxophone, just that really really golden yellow and yellowish orange. Just having a spectrum of different colors to pick from. And then after I had these pieces of paper painted, I cut them out into a bunch of miscellaneous rectangles and started gluing them all over this uh, initial base hodgepodge with no real pattern or arrangement or setup to it. And then, once I had that, I knew I needed just a little bit more definition to the saxophone. And considering my version was incredibly abstracted, I could get away with sort of giving it a cartoonish outline. I took a bunch of modeling paste, sort of went around the base I already had, and painted the modeling paste black. It sort of gave the saxophone a cartoonish outline and really defined it, really defined its shape, and made it definite that, yes, this is a saxophone, albeit very abstracted and set up in sort of a different way. After that, it was just sort of floating in space for the longest time, on a 
blank white canvas. I knew I needed to do something with the background. But I just didn't have any specific ideas in mind. My original intention was to paint somebody playing the saxophone in the background, or make said character in Photoshop, and then print out the picture and put it there. But I ended up doing something else entirely instead. I just kind of brought the paints out, since part of the grade in painting class is you have to be working on the painting while you're in class. I just brought out the paints and started painting on the canvas, and from there, I just started subconsciously thinking about the recordings I listened to and music appreciation, the different moods and tones of this music, and from there, one part was sort of the brighter, more cheerful flavor of jazz expressed in pink, sort of blue, just warmer colors, and then the other side was cooler colors. Blue, green, turquoise. In other words, I sort of tried to arrange the colors in the sense those would be the colors I thought of when I listened to a certain genre of jazz. One being New Orleans jazz, another being fusion, just... It's... It'd be really up to interpretation, but that's what I was subconsciously thinking about when I started making an abstract background and randomly picking colors to create said background. I was kind of surprised by the reaction and result. I'm actually pretty pre pleased with the result. That's definitely a step in the direction of where I'd want to head with traditional painting. I've been trying to figure out and establish my own style or distinctive trademark I could put within my own paintings, and that's definitely a step in the right direction. Not only that, but I had somebody ask me to buy it. I had the teacher actually approach me and outright said, I want to buy this painting. All I'll just admit it, I was absolutely surprised by this. I guess in just sort of sharing the story, I want to tell you guys out there, if you have a certain idea in mind, or you just have this theme or idea that keeps bugging you while you're in art class or just anywhere else, find a way to bring it to light. It may not be exactly what you have in mind, or you may not even know what direction you're going, but Go for it! Just try painting it on there and really think and envision what that idea is and you'll be surprised by what you end up creating. Just be spontaneous. Bring, Have a somewhat concrete idea in mind, but bring it to light in whatever way you deem appropriate even within the heat of the moment. I will say this much, not every time will come out 100% what... Not every time will you get a result that you're 100% pleased with. But, it's worth taking the risk, it's worth taking a shot and trying it out. <laughs>